I rewatched all the DC movies, and only part in any of them, the only part in any of them that I even remotely liked is some of the Batman parts in Batman v Superman. <sighs> because they portrayed Batman as the Dark Knight Returns comic Batman, where he's more violent and deadly. But man, they fucked. They fucked all my favorite heroes. They fucked them so goddamn hard. I can't even take it, Jesus Christ. They made Superman into super bitch. Cyborg into emo bitch. Wonder Woman into Wonder Sue. I don't even know. I don't even care about Aquaman. He's just nothing in that movie. Like, he didn't do anything worthwhile at all. And the only semi-redeemable thing there is The Flash. And he's not even done that well. I rewatched every movies. I rewatch every movie, and I want those eight hours back. The movies are so bad, I ended up watching Ryan Reynolds' Green Lantern, and I fucking loved it. The first Batman scene you get in Justice League is him fighting a thug. Then, it, the, the intro is just him on the ceiling, which is fucking stupid, right? But it's, it's him fighting a thug. Then he fights a bug alien, which flies him through the city and lands on the exact same roof that the th that they and then he lets the dog go. He lets the guy go. The guy that he was the, the guy that stole a bunch of fucking had a bag of fucking swag or some shit like so, uh, money or something. Lets the guy go. And I'm like, "Okay. Uh sure, Batman, you are, are, is this the same goddamn Batman that fucking fucking branded people in, in, in the people he caught so then they'd be singled out in fucking prison? Is this holy shit? It, in, in the Justice League movie, Batman makes fun of Wonder Woman for fucking not showing herself to the world and, and hiding even though she does her job in the daytime and somehow hides her alter ego and saves people at the same time while he sits in the shadow like a bitch. Not an edgy badass, but a bitch. Alright? This movie had so much, so much fucking loopholes. Alright? With Steven... When Stephen, Stephen, when Stephen Wolf teleports in a temple to steal the fucking mother box, they fight him for a little bit. Then, uh, and then, but realizing that they couldn't beat him, they try to escape while locking him into the temple. Okay, but they forgot one thing, one very simple thing. He fucking teleported there. He teleported there. So are you gonna you're gonna lock him in the temple in hopes of keeping him in there when he teleported in the end of first? You gotta just teleport it out and teleport it back on the outside. <sighs> you fucked up, DC. Right? You fucked up. Right? And then there's a scene, right? Seven, Seven Wolf kidnaps everyone that was related to the mother box or has a, some contact with it, right? Who's ever touched the mother box, right? It's shown that he doesn't care for their life and he'll kill them without a second thought. Th thought <laughs> so what does batman do right fucking goes in there with a giant robot beetle why what the fuck why was that ever needed to begin with and finally the whole movie the, the finally the worst part of this whole movie was superman they didn't just bring him like why didn't they just bring him back from the beginning also superman's strength Makes the whole Justice League fucking worthless. Absolutely worthless. When they resurrect Superman, all of them get their asses kicked, which doesn't make any sense at all. Like, we all know that Wonder Woman is completely capable of subduing Superman. She's clearly more capable in martial combat with many more years of experience, and her strength is not at Superman's level, but pretty close. Soyborg was supposed to be a supercomputer. Couldn't he formulate a plan that could actually work even though he's done it? Could, that could actually work against Superman since he's done it before? And they, they knew it was gonna... They knew it was gonna mess up somehow. Why didn't they bring back any kryptonite? Like... <laughs> um, like Batman clearly had kryptonite. Like, what the fuck? And the worst part is when he's revived, it solves all of their problems. A fucking Deus Ex Machina bullshit. Right? He makes the rest of them feel useless. He beats Stiffen Wolf without, your, without their help. Saves more people than the Flash should by himself, which is actually impossible. Because in the comics, Flash can save way more people than Superman due to his fucking super speed. 
all right, and stops the mother box faster than Cyborg did. So tell me, what was the... Why, why, why was the point of the Justice League to begin with if one person can solve all their problems? Like, if one person can solve all of your problems, then it shouldn't be in the movie. They could have saved this franchise by doing two things, right? Getting rid of Superman and replacing the villain. Okay? And it could, you could, they could either do both. They could either do both or, or, or do one or the other. Okay? All right? Simple as that. All right? What they can do, right, if they get rid of Superman and they beat the villain on their own, okay? Uh, first off, right, actually, no, I'm, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, right? I want to say, first thing I want to say is the villain is so cookie cutter that he's fucking boring, right? I'll just say that now, right? But, uh, and and also, since Superman's actor was contractually locked to keep his mustache, my mustache, mustache for the movie, they had that they had to edit it out. Instead of spending thousands to millions of dollars getting rid of it, which... A guy in a basement did a better job with a five hundred dollar computer. <laughs> they could have just they could have just gotten rid of Superman and made the made the next movie about Superman coming back to life. But uh, but apparently they got rid of two hours in the movie and rescheduled uh, and rescheduled reshoots, and 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 that's it. All right, I watched Superman Returns and it was way better than this movie. All right, I'll take Stalker Superman to emo bitch Superman any day. Okay, but. But what they really could have done, right, with with was that is, they could have gotten. I don't know how to explain this. They could have gotten rid of Superman. All right, they they didn't have to put Superman in. Okay, Stephen Wolf isn't in the comics. Although he's pretty powerful, he, Superman could defeat him. But so can everyone in that team. All right, literally everyone in that team can beat Stephen Wolf. Okay, if they work together, they'll definitely beat Steppenwolf, all right? Except for the fact that the entire movie, they never once worked to fucking together. Like, the closest thing was when fucking... When it was with Cyborg and Aquaman, and that was about it, all right? That was literally it. That was the only thing that was even close to being redeemable. As as That was the only thing that even resembled teamwork in that fucking movie, okay? But they, they could have easily... Very easily solved this problem by getting rid of Superman. If they got rid of Superman, then and and at the end of the movie they worked together to defeat the main bad guy. Then then it, then it essentially closes a lot of the fucking stupid ass plot holes that's been put. All right. The third is to get rid of the villain. Now he fucking sucks. All right. Stephen Wolf. He's so boring. He's such a basic bitch. Fuck me. He's Jordan. Like, fucking hell. Uh, no one's gonna get that joke. <laughs> but, fuck me. Like, he's so... He's, You're never gonna get the mother box. Oh, I think I will. Fuck you, Stefan Wolf. Fuck you. You basic ass bitch. You're so goddamn cookie cutter normal, you piece of shit. Fuck me, dude. God damn. They, they, why didn't, I don't understand why they didn't, they, they, they didn't just put Darkseid in. Because at the very least, Superman can't just beat Darkseid by himself. Superman actually kind of needs the help of the Justice League. You know, I mean, actually, he, he can, but at the very least, you know, the Justice League would actually help. I don't know, alright? I'm just really mad that, they, 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 they did a really dumb job with the movie, okay? I'm just, I'm upset. Because I'm a, I'm a DC, I'm a DC boy, I'm a DC fanboy. All right, I'm a DC fanboy, but I can't, I can't fucking defend that garbage. All right, I can't defend that garbage. Marvel Cinematic Universe is better. I still think DC Comics are better. All right, people are gonna judge me for that. I still think DC Comics better because that's those are my type of comics. Okay, they tend to be much darker than 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 Marvel comics, but that's and more and more gritty. But that's why I like it. Okay. And I'm not saying, you know, Marvel Comics can't get dark, too. I fucking read some. My favorite comic series is the World War Hulk series, all right? And that's a Marvel that's a Marvel series, though my favorite comic is Jokes, War and Jokes and Riddles from DC. But anyways, <laughs> they, I think the main problem with this movie was that the people who are making the, the DC movies don't... They they're not they're not fans of DC, right? They probably read like two or three two or three books, okay. 
like two or three comic books to to do fucking research right the people who are making the marvel movies fucking love marvel comics right they fucking love everything there is to be to do about marvel they love the heroes that they're working with and all of that right they actually love their job well on the other hand we got fucking a director that's making batman kill people why i i can't understand like the, the story is there the comic book is there it's there why couldn't they just fucking use that fucking christ god damn it fuck me dude i i legitimately sometimes i just can't take it anymore i just oh my god and don't don't even get me started on the new fucking tv show oh my god don't even get me started on fucking titans that just recently got released. Oh. They're releasing a live action Teen Titans show. And it already looks like garbage. Because they have a Robin that murders. And it isn't Jason Todd. <laughs> Everything is going like to happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. The special effects are so bad. Starfire is black. She's not supposed to be black. Alright, I get it. Sometimes you gotta mix a little bit of the fucking races to make, you know, to, to the diversity. Whoa! And I thought Marvel was doing that really badly in their fucking comics, but I did not expect you, DC! Alright? I ain't got no problem with black superheroes, alright? I fucking love black, black Lightning, Cyborg, fuck, oh, black superheroes are cool, alright? But I never really liked them because they're black. I like them because they're fucking badass as shit, alright? Static, oh my god, Static was the fucking man, alright? Static's fucking awesome, alright? Maz Morales, my favorite black superhero, boom, there you go, alright? Like, holy shit, fuck me, alright? Starfire is not supposed to be black. She's a goddamn alien. That resembles a white person, but with slightly darker skin. So someone who's probably tanned might work. You know what? A Hispanic girl might work better for that. Like, uh, but, but, uh, you know, throwing a race into the trash, alright? Uh, what, what I saw was legitimately mind-blowing. To the in, in the fact that I wanted to just, I wanted to, oh, God. Oh. I... Hates DC Cinematic Universe. Oh, look, I like edgy things as the next guy, okay? But you used the wrong Robin! You used the wrong Robin, fuck me. <laughs> God damn it, you piece of shit. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking gah! Well, that's this has been Smart Guy Rants. I hope you fucking like the video. You fuck you, fuck you, bitches. I'm fucking out of here. <sighs> oh yeah, I've actually been like super drained making this goddamn video. Just thinking about the fucking everything that's been happening to the DC Cinematic Universe. Because it's so garbage, okay? Now, I'll I'd say I'll say that the fucking CW stuff is actually not that bad, right? But it's gotten worse. It's gotten so much worse. The early seasons were so were so great. For early season Flash, early season Arrow, they were fucking amazing. But as time went on, they became more and more PG, and they they've had less and less funding. As as you can clearly tell, because they've gotten so much fucking worse. <laughs> oh fuck me, man. Oh my god, someone shoot me, please. <laughs> I can't, I can't take this anymore. But all I can say is that the, the, at, at first, like, before the Netflix series came out, like, for the Marvel stuff, that was like, oh man, they're, they're, they're doing real good, fucking, in CW, uh, CW, man, fucking DC TV shows are better. 
are, are much better than the fucking Marvel ones, and they fucking pulled out Daredevil, and they just fucked. The DC shows up the ass. Fuck, dude. Like, oh my god, it was fucking like, man, I'm just, uh, I gotta rewatch Daredevil now. That shit was so fucking good. It was so good. It was Batman, but done best. <laughs> DC, fix your shit, please. Just fix your shit. I can't fucking take this anymore. I can't take this anymore. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. <laughs>